Hey, so what's up guys? My name is Garu and first of all, before we begin this video, I just want to thank each and every one of you to help us reach this big milestone. We recently just hit 700k gators and oh my god, this has been an amazing month. So each and every one of you guys, if you have supported this channel, if you have watched the video, maybe if you have left a like, or if you're a new subscriber, or if you're an old subscriber, I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you out there. And for the past couple of weeks, I've been uploading videos every single day, so if you don't want to miss out on them, if you are not a part of the Gator Squad, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, because today we got some amazing news for you guys. We have a ton of update videos coming up, so in this video, we are going to talk about the secret bunker, like the big major bunker, there's like different rifts over there, and also we are going to talk about about birds in Fortnite because we have just spotted some feathers in Lonely Lodge and there could be some possible changes inside the map and not only that we are going to talk about the Dara Burger and Tomato special event. So yeah if you're excited for this update video make sure you drop a like and with that being said let's jump on to our first topic for today. So ladies and gentlemen I'm talking about the secret bunker right over here which is at Willem Woods and the Fortnite official secret service which is inside the game. They're trying to you know duplicate the rip and they're trying to you know make something similar to that so if you walk inside this one right over it's gonna teleport you on the other side of the wheeling woods and i think fortnite's trying to you know make a new item or maybe they're just trying to you know, test something out on how they can implement this inside the game so if you're excited for teleportation in fortnite let me know in the comment section down below because we have rips inside the game so teleportation how crazy it is gonna be i mean i'm definitely excited for this coming up but if you walk right over here you guys can see like the rift is over there and they're trying to you know duplicate that stuff so i think Fortnite might be trying to implement like more rift locations or maybe this could be inside the game maybe you guys can just pick it up like a trap that we have inside the game right now like the mounted turret we can pick it up and we can just place it so if we have this teleportation device inside the game and maybe they release an item for it maybe we can place it somewhere at Tiller Towers and then go to Dusty David and place one over there so every time someone walks in there they are gonna get teleported inside Tiller Towers and vice versa so maybe this could get implemented inside the game. I mean, I can see this totally happening. I mean, you guys can place one of the teleportation device in front of your trap. So if someone walks inside that teleportation door right over there, they are going to step right inside your trap. So this is going to be pretty much amazing. I really wanted to you know, talk about this for a very long time because this right over here, it might be broken. I know this sounds crazy, but what if Fortnite actually releases a game mode? first to you know test this out and then maybe they can just implement inside the game and if you guys look over like the rift they're trying to you not know, still make some progress with that rift the rift which is inside wheeling woods it's still there so in the future we are gonna see some more stuff which will be happening with this rift maybe we are gonna get some more rift locations and maybe we can travel throughout the map using these teleportation device but talking about you know in-game tests we don't have redeployable gliders right now I know half of the people who are watching this video are gonna be like happy and half of the people they are gonna be like why did they remove redeployable gliders but it just got taken out and oh my god I actually got a lot of fall damage because of this but yeah if you guys are wondering why you guys can't fly anymore it can only be used in a disco domination game or playground or in the new tomato versus Durbaga event but talking about the new Durburger and Tomato event, we got some special easter eggs coming up for you guys right now. So if you guys did know, the Tomato Head and the Durburger Head, they're having a competition at, like who's gonna win. And we can see like a lot of map changes happening around over here, like the big Durburger restaurant, it, it is closed now. And guys, trust me, I have a theory like why the Tomato Head is trying to you know, shut down the Durburger. So if you guys did know and if you guys are new players, uh, there used to be a big restaurant with the tomato head and that got closed down and there was a new update inside the game and that is why we have tomato temple right now. So what could be happening is like we can see the tomato head truck driving all the way to Durburger head just to challenge him on a 1v1 and whoever wins takes over the Durburger head restaurant. But if you guys did know Fortnite is actually you know tweeting some you know vote system and they're trying to you know, see who actually wins. So whoever wins this competition is gonna get a, their own restaurant. So are we gonna miss the Durburger head? The Durburger head is still at, you know, Pleasant Park on top of this hill. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below which team are you on right now. Are you on Team Burger or are you on Team Pizza? I can't tell which team I'm on because I like everything. I like pizzas and I like burger as well. So yeah, I'll leave it to you guys. Let's see who actually wins. But if you look at the voting system, which is on Twitter right now, the Durburger head is actually winning. So everyone, we might be having a Durburger restaurant at Weezy Grove after all. So what is going to happen with the tomato head? Are they gonna share a same restaurant or he is just gonna be there forever? But if you guys look at this van right over here, it says pizza thumbs up and Durburger thumbs down. I mean, they're just having a fun one we want. 
and I think this is just something amazing which Fortnite is trying to do. But moving on to the Dabaga truck, this truck is kind of funny, I mean the head and everything, it just looks amazing but it also has like a pizza icon and it is like sliced off. So yeah, they're having a pretty big competition right now and these trucks now could be spotted at the NFL Stadium. I don't know if they're gonna take a full circle of the map, maybe this is the last week that we are gonna have any updates regarding this, I mean we have the big game mode right now the food fight ltm going on and with the food fight ltm i have some update for you guys like there's some like small changes inside the game mode so our first update is actually gonna be mascot health has been decreased from 200k to 100k i mean it used to take a lot of time to you know destroy the tomato head or the dubbug head so fortnite just reduced the health just a little bit you know make the game a little bit more faster and i kind of agree with that because the first game that i was playing there was only like seven players and it took a long time to you know just finish the game but the next update that we have for this game mode is like decreased monitor it drop rate by 50 percent i think this update is only gonna be there for the you know food file team i don't know if this update is gonna be there for the normal game modes because monitors they're kind of op i think the monitors are gonna get nerfed on the next patch i mean we saw that with the p90 i mean the first day it came along the next day it got nerfed monitors they might get nerfed the next week so if you are trying to you know get some big shots with that try to do them right now because body shots for 40 and headshots for 88 that is kind of OP, not gonna lie. But the next update for this game mode is actually gonna be added the timer of Storm 4 to Storm 3. I mean, the timer actually, you know, closes down after like the Storm 3, which is actually good. This makes the game even faster. And this actually means that there's only gonna be three total Storm Circles and it is gonna make the game faster. So the next update that we have for this game mode is actually gonna be reduce the auto mascot damage by 40%. If you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't damage the mascot heads and if you guys wanted to, you know, make this game for like an hour or something, you guys can't actually do that because these mascots, they have like auto damage enabled. So it says over here, auto mascot damage is applied to each team's mascot at set intervals so that matches will auto resolve within a set time frame. If neither team is able to, you know, destroy the enemy's mascot, Auto mascot damage starts taking 5 minutes after Storm Circle 2. So that is the simpler version of what I said. If you guys don't want to make this game for a 1 hour long, this will actually help you, you know, finish the game even faster. But with that being said, let's jump on to our next topic which is gonna be birds in Fortnite. And when I'm talking about birds in Fortnite, if you guys visit Lonely Lodge at this big tower right over here, you guys can actually spot some feathers right over here. I don't know if this is chicken or not, but... I can't tell the difference, maybe it's a bottle, but the most important thing is we can see a lot of feathers, you know, laying around and if you guys go outside the Lone Lost Tower, you guys can spot some more feathers over there. Maybe there's gonna be a seasonal change coming in, but we have winter season coming in, so I don't know for sure if there's like a lot of birds in winter, they're like flying away, maybe they're just going out for like hibernation or something, I don't know what they call it, but yeah, maybe they're just flying away, but we could be seeing some birds in Fortnite really soon and this could be just a hint from Fortnite that hey, there will be some birds coming in Fortnite, so you better watch out. So, I don't know how this bird is gonna, you know, implement. Can we, you know, use the birds? Are they gonna be inside the game? Can we interact with them? Can we pet them? We have dogs right now, chameleon, dragon. So, if we have a bird pet on Season 7, I think that is gonna be amazing. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see birds as a pet on Season 7. Because I love to, you know, see a bird sitting on my back. And when we are getting that big trial, he's just gonna, the bird is gonna do something crazy. Maybe he's just gonna talk bad like a parrot or something like that. Because... When we win with a pet, they do like different certain features, like the chameleon, it changes its colors. With the dragon, it just spits fire when we win a game. It, the dog, he barks when he wins the game. But what I'm about to say next in this video, this is just a theory. So for season 7, it would be amazing since we have like some bird theme going on on Fortnite map right now. So what if for Christmas, I mean, everything is just gonna turn into snow or maybe they can just put it in the item shop. Maybe Or maybe it could be like a fun challenge that we can complete and get it for free so maybe you guys can just tweet it out to fortnite maybe if this is a good idea they might actually take that in game so what if we have some special challenges in fortnite with which we guys can actually unlock a penguin backpack i mean it's gonna be crazy i know for some reason if you guys are a new player or maybe if you had started playing like a month ago or maybe a few days ago uh, fortnite every year they do something crazy with the map and for this coming season which is gonna be season seven Christmas is gonna be there so the whole map is gonna turn into snow and everything because last year the whole map got changed, the bush they were changed, the guns they were changed like for the Halloween event if you guys have played it like the rocket launcher got converted into a pumpkin launcher so just like that there's gonna be a lot of changes that will be happening for season 7 we're gonna talk about everything on our next video so make sure your notifications are on but other than that, on our next coming month which is gonna be December there's gonna be a lot of you know changes happening inside the game right now but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have already, you know, completed your Battle Pass challenges because Season 7 is almost here, so if you haven't, you know, completed them, 
make sure you guys complete them right now because trying to you know, do that on the last day that is gonna be so much work but yeah that is gonna be it for our today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys drop a like on this video we'll be back again with a new video tomorrow so yeah if you don't want to miss out on that make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell well my name is Garu and you guys can follow me on my twitter and instagram it's gonna be at Garu Gaming. so yeah i'll be catching you guys on my next video so till then goodbye and have a great day ahead